So for those who are dealing with their fronts, you want to make sure you watch out for these tiny clips here because they're very easy to break and one of mine broke. So just a warning when you're doing this. Now <clears throat> the part that you're supposed to fix, it might be upside down, but the home link is supposed to go behind this, not in front of it. So when I come here and I stick this in here, see how that clip on the back of the home link attaches? That's how it's supposed to go through. Now, you're gonna have to screw it, so I, the reason why Tesla probably doesn't have a DIY for this is because uh, you'll have to take off the front um, bumper in, in order to get this fixed. So, what I'm gonna do instead, since I don't wanna do that, is to just use a zip tie. So I'm gonna put a zip tie through this, through the other side, and just tie it up. A few people have done that before, so I'm just gonna go do that. Luckily I have one zip tie available, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'll have my lovely model here hold the zip tie I'm gonna use. And this is an old zip tie that I have just sitting around. So that's the zip tie. And we'll just fish it through the hole. And I think, and this is, this is the clip I'm talking about. You have to be very careful when you're putting your uh, the frunk insert insert back in because it easily breaks apparently did not know all right so i'm gonna go off camera real quick and get this part done and then i'll show you what it looks like at the end all right let's try it again so i'm gonna insert it and i want it to come out sort of like well, usually this is a toy so it's good stick it all the way through Why sometimes service is worth it, but a hundred dollars just for them to take off a bumper. I don't know if that's worth it. Well, I should use my phone to record more. It's pretty nice. All right, we got the zip. Nope. Sorry for the volume if you can't hear me speak up. All right, everything's in. Now, let's do the old, I hope I put this in right. Yeah. Oof, this zip tie is not even friendly. And with that, it's pretty secure now, but you can't move it at all. So save yourself the headache, just use a zip tie. And in the future, if you decide to take off the bumper one day, you can replace it with the natural six <laughs> millimeter bit. You wanna try it out? To see how tight it is? Not that. Maybe not too much. I'm gonna trim this too, right? Yeah, I'm gonna cut it off. And of course, you're gonna cut this off. So I'll go do that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I didn't wait at all. But that was pretty easy. See the blade, the blade or scissors? I didn't want to get scissors, so there we go. And with that. Alright, there you go. It's all set. Pretty tight. Mm, this is not going anywhere. I don't like how it doesn't really seem to like tighten in. I thought this is supposed to be sort of like a clip, but it's not really acting like it. But that's pretty good in place now. I thought I pushed it in all the way, so maybe I didn't push it in all the way. But that looks pretty good.
and with that we'll just get everything put back in and we should be good to go the garage sh should still open and close because we haven't really unclipped anything okay um the mist has brought up a good point the reason why i'm using a zip tie is that in order to for you to get this properly screwed in you have to do it from the back side now that's pretty impossible if you don't have the bumper off and i don't want to take the bumper off because you have to take these guys off there's some clips in the back i believe you have to take off um, or screws in the back you have to take off it's just a lot of unnecessary work for me so it's easier for me just to zip tie it and it pretty much serves the same function if your zip tie is tight so that's why i did it this way Make sure these clips don't break again. Of course, it turns off when I'm almost done. So, ooh, I hope I didn't scratch you. Alright, let me see how this clip's going. Okay. So, yeah, you just gotta make sure you align your clips properly. This one doesn't exist anymore. So, that guy. <laughs> This guy's already lined up like how it's supposed to be. Okay, so that's how it's supposed to be. Clip. I don't hear a clip. Someone is a bit excited about being clipped. Clip here. Gotta make sure it's done properly. Okay, so it's not a very strong clip. Still gotta make sure it's in the right place. This is misaligned here. So now that I think this part's done properly. This. Just gently press. It's not worth it breaking one of them. You'll never know if you got all of them or not. So just live with it. Hear a rattle and come back and push them down. Wow, we're done. That's it. And look at that. All set with the zip tie. And hopefully it meets all expectations. Now check this car out. It looks so good in the sun. Look at that metallic shine. Oh, now I see where that blue comes from. I don't know if you can see that. They're a little blue. That's awesome. That's it. Oh. See, this is why a GoPro works better. Or a proper camera.